right, today I'm going to show you how to hot wire a mower with a test light and jumper wire. Stay tuned. Okay, right now I'm just trying to gain access underneath this control panel here. Took a couple fasteners off. And we're in. So, this is what we're after. This ignition switch here. There should be some markings on the back. Um, some labels. This one's gonna be a little bit, a little bit tough to see. <sighs> Ooh, she's all cruddy. But just on the back of there, uh, check for uh, power up here. It should be uh, right there. There's battery. There's a seat safety switch probably on this. That's why I'm up here, else I wouldn't be. Doesn't sound like it wants to start. Sounds like it's not getting fuel. Just need a little uh, car cleaner. All right, I don't know if you guys can see this at all. But this is what's on the back of your ignition, on the back of your ignition switch. And inside of there is labeled uh, like B, S, B is for battery, S is for starter, and usually L con controls the little uh, fuel solenoid on the carburetor. So it's two separate circuits. To get it started, you need to jump uh, B, and the starter of course but you also need um voltage going to l to that fuel solenoid okay so this I'm, I, this is hooked to battery right now that's going to go to l and then i'm just going to come over with my test light connected to battery positive and i'm just going to hit the the starter so you just kind of match it up with the back of the uh with the back of the ignition switch and you just kind of transfer it over okay okay so here we are the back of the ignition switch and all this is a little jumper wire i made uh this should be fused to protect yourself um so this is going to go to battery so that has 12 volts going to it i'll switch to battery negative just to show you, the test light will come on there. I don't know if you can see that, but the test light will come on. So that's to uh, that's 12 volts going up there. That's feeding the ignition switch, okay. And what we need to do is we need to fuel the fuel solenoid, and there's a couple other. Um, little controls and everything and there's a bunch of ground switches that's why i had to sit on the seat I, I couldn't really find the wiring that went to the seat it's just like it's a little either a ground side switch or power side switch stuff on these for safety so i'll just jump these and you can hear those you can hear all those little relays clicking that says okay we're good to go so all right i'm hooked up to power now so I just gotta sit in the seat, and then what I'm gonna do is, since this circuit's complete, now the, it's able to get fuel in there before, and then I'll just touch that starter, and uh, it'll fire up. As you can see right now, okay. Well, somebody obviously uh, disabled, or um, it's a malfunctioning safety switch on the seat, so. And this is just a, a shut off that's probably connected into the ground circuits as well but uh even easier great so uh two circuits uh make sure you're getting fuel um in this case it was a dead battery also um and it needed a little bit of carb cleaner to get it started 
but uh, that's basically it. Um, use the information wisely. Um, this customer brought me over this uh, this tractor without a key. I've been waiting on the key from the dealer for a couple of days, and you know you got to do what you got to do. You know it's uh, grass is growing; they want their mower, so is what it is. So I'm gonna <clears throat> take this thing off the trailer and get to work. Thank you.